Welcome back, it's me Lou. For today's video, we are going to focus on a special custom action figure that I made. So just to clarify things, this is not a standard retail action figure. Um, this is a special one of one action figure that I created. All right, so what we have here is we have Batwoman, also known as um, Kate Kane. Uh, Kate Kane, I believe was the second Batwoman in comic book history. Uh, for me, the character kind of took stage um, way back, maybe like over 10 years ago when they um, did the New 52 event. And she's become quite a popular character, you know, even having a TV show. So what inspired me to create this character is that if you look back some videos ago, um, I made a custom Catwoman action figure. And in order to make that Catwoman figure, I used the head from a uh, McFarlane DC Multiverse Batman Unmasked action figure. That left me with a headless body and I had to figure out what to do with that body. And let's talk about that process real quick. Let's set this aside. So here's the Batwoman um, Unmasked action figure I just kind of spoke of. So I used this head here for a custom Catwoman figure. And then once I pulled the, the head off of her, it left me with, with just this plain body. And I didn't want it to go to waste, so I kind of knew I wanted to do something with it. Uh, but what? I wasn't exactly sure. But then it was kind of staring me in the face. Um, this character is technically Batwoman Unmasked. And even though this is the Batman Beyond Body, um, but a f the female costume, I was thinking to myself, you know, why not take this and let's convert this and make, you know, modern, a modern day um, Batwoman, also known as Kate Kane. So if you're unfamiliar with the character of Batwoman, uh, here is an illustration of her. Um, uh, this is kind of like how she's represented in, you know, the modern era. Uh, like I stated previously, for me, this character kind of like took prominence uh, way back when DC did the New 52 event. Even though the character was introduced years previously, back in 2006, you know, when they gave her her own title, that's when I kind of jumped on board. Um, visually, she's a really interesting looking character. As you can see with the red and black color scheme, it kind of echoes back to the Batman Beyond design, which we have right here. So seeing as that I had this body here, I figure it'd be kind of fun and maybe not too big of a challenge to make this character right here. Because uh, the way I looked at it is that, you know, this, this figure here with the body, it's like 90% of the work is already done. You know, you already kind of have the red bat emblem, you have the black bodysuit. And for me, it was just a question of like, you know, adding some paint application, creating a cape and just removing the wings and then just finding the perfect head uh, to create Batwoman. So with Batwoman over here, here's my custom. Um, all right, so the head here is actually a Marvel Legends head. This is the Brie Larson uh, Captain Marvel head. And I just painted it on the mask. And then I created the bat ears. The bat ears was kind of a challenge because I wasn't really sure how to approach it. Um, I'm not 100% happy with the final result because it looks too much like um, Wolverine, the female Wolverine, uh, Laura Kinney, aka X23. So for now, this head's kind of just a stand in. Um, I didn't permanently affix it to the body just because. I'm going to hunt around online and see if I can find a better solution. Uh, but for now, this is kind of a placeholder. And it's not bad. I mean, it's all right. Uh, but in terms of the body, here are some of the changes I made. Uh, for one, um, I, re I repainted her gauntlets red. Even though the comic book version of Catwoman um, has, like, the full red gloves and everything, you know, I kind of just left the hands alone because... Um, I don't want to worry too much about paint rub. It's something I talk about in other videos. You know, the minute you paint over a movable joint, the paint will chip and rub off. So for me, at the very bare minimum, I decided to paint the, the gauntlets red, just like here. Um, the boots also, um, ideally, I would have painted them all red. But again, you know, I don't want to worry too much about chipping paint, you know, as I articulate the figure. 
So at the very least, I just painted the front, um, the shin guards red. So from if you view the character from the front, you know, kind of hits all the major points, you know, the gauntlets and the boots. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that the legs are actually different. The legs are not the same legs from the Batwoman figure over here. I took these legs off and actually swapped them with a Catwoman figure uh, to make my custom Catwoman. So, like again, again, you know, if you haven't seen that video, check that one out. But these legs here, these are the Zoe Kravitz legs from the Batman live action film. And surprisingly, they fit pretty well. Um, you know, proportion wise, they're a little bit shorter, which it doesn't hinder the character's look too much. But the black's a nice shade, you know, kind of flows well with the upper body suit. And then lastly, I removed um, the wings off the Batman Beyond costume and just um, created a cape. This is the first time I actually created a cape. I kind of wanted to stay away from using like cloth and fabrics. I'm not a big fan of like uh, cloth capes. And um, for this, I just used craft foam. Whoops, her head fell off. I just used craft foam to create the cape and I kind of creased it to create the folds. And Batwoman actually has a dual colored cape. On the interior of her cape, it's red, but then on the back, it's black. Um, if I had better cutting skills, I would have cut it out, I would have cut out the web design in the cape, but you know, I didn't trust myself to like do something that cleanly, so instead I just kind of opted for like a diamond shape towards the bottom. Um, I'm also kind of a hypocrite because whenever I review McFarlane figures with capes, I always talk about how I like capes that are, that are just in a stock neutral pose where they're kind of just flowing downward. Uh, for mine, it's kind of out, it's kind of like reaching out to the sides. And the only reason why that is is that when I made this cape, I wasn't really sure how to make a cape. And then I just kind of just eyeballed it and I just made it as I went along resulting in a cape that's much wider than I would have liked. You know, ideally, I would have preferred a cape that was this, you know, probably like at least an inch shorter on each end. But, you know, this is kind of like the end result. So this figure isn't perfect, but for me, it's just a fun placeholder. You know, I wanted to take on the challenge of uh, creating a Batwoman figure. Uh, especially since I'm kind of, I'm very fond of this design to begin with. Um, I like the... Kate Kane costume a lot. I think it looks really cool. And I'm sure in time, you know, McFarlane will give us a proper version of Batwoman here. And not necessarily the Elena Grayson figure that we got previously. And this is a great figure. If you haven't picked this figure up, um, I highly suggest you do. Um, there's two versions of this. There's the um, Batwoman where she has the, the mask and she kind of looks like Batman Beyond. And then there's the unmasked version here, which I, I prefer a lot more. This is Elena Grayson. She's the daughter of uh, Robin Dick Grayson. So yeah, here is my custom uh, Batwoman. And it was a fun project. Uh, like I said, it was it was kind of painless since most of the work is already kind of done for me with the, the body and stuff. You know, it was just a simple repaint and making the cape. But right now, it's like I said, you know, I kind of want to find a better solution for the head. This is kind of more so a proxy. I'm just going to hunt around online and see if I can find a better 3D printed option or um, better yet, if I can find the old Mattel uh, Batwoman head. I'm going to see if that if that's a good fit. So yeah, here is my Batwoman custom action figure. All right, so let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.